what we're going to do today is we're going to fully uh, butcher and skin a sheep. We're going to dispatch the sheep out with the flock because when they are away from the flock, they become more anxious and fearful. Uh, they don't actually fear death coming. They don't maybe even realize that a knife is death. And the other sheep seeing it is not going to bother them. To them, seeing a dead animal isn't injustice. They're not incensed by it or fearful of it. Uh, it's just natural for them. We're going to dispatch it right out there with the rest of the flock, which is where it wants to be. And we're going to use a knife instead of a gun because an animal that's less cerebral uh, is going to have more of their nervous system spread out throughout their body. So some people say that a gun can actually cause more trauma to a sheep than a knife. I don't know if it's true. That's a theory, I guess. Uh, a knife doesn't hurt the sheep like you'd imagine because hide doesn't have all the nerve endings, the multiple, you know, thousands, tens of thousands, however many nerve endings that we have in our skin. Hide is different and so they don't feel pain the way that you'd imagine your skin feeling pain, so it's not going to hurt them as much, but we're going to take and do two quick cuts, hopefully if the knife is sharp enough, and cut right to bone. Are you, are you nervous about nervous about the harvesting at all, being this is your first time? Not as much as I was to just harvest chickens the first time. I mean, I'd probably get a little nervous once I'm out there, but yeah, I'm not nervous, and as long as we're not killing our breeding uh, stock. Known what they're for since we got them and I'm looking forward to having some lamb. We're gonna distract them so that I can grab Lambert who's already like, oh, he's looking at me. But then from the Adam's apple, it's just straight back till you hit bone. We want the head up like this. The Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. You cause the grass to grow for the livestock and plants for man to cultivate, that he might bring forth food from the earth, wine to gladden his heart, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen the heart of man. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Amen. Like they, they're really enjoying it. They're being more friendly now. Coming up, all several of them. <clears throat> all right. So he's just about gotten limp in my arms. It's hilarious. Every time I do this, they're just like, okay. But like, so he just. Look at that. Wow. Right. We thank the Lord for this animal, and we thank the animal for its sacrifice. No. Lay down. Lay down. Wow. Alright, try not to trip over the fence. He's, he's lighter than him? Yeah.
So what we're doing today is butchering chickens and the way that we do it is we use a cone and because these cones aren't quite deep enough we have to restrain their legs. They're, they're not deep enough and they're not narrow enough so I either need to build cones that are more narrow and deep or I need to uh, or like what we have to do here is we have to restrain their legs otherwise they, they get out. 